Hey you guys, this is Michelle Goldstein and you are practicing at Heart Alchemy Yoga on YouTube. Thank you so much for all of your likes and your comments and your shares of the videos. It helps us out, out loads, so please continue to do that. It's really meaningful and we're really grateful for the community that's, that's building around the channel. So thank you so very much. Uh, today we're going to do another yoga flow practice. And let's come to start with in a seated position on your mat and close your eyes and take your hands, palms down onto your knees and begin to bring some attention to your breathing. As we drop into some ujjayi, breath, in and out through the nose. And we'll start with some Sufi circles. So you're going to make circles with your spine. In any direction. I'm still breathing with the intention of loosening up the spine and opening up the pelvic bowl and the shoulders. And then we'll go back in the other direction. Let your head go so the neck can start to move with the spine. There's no right or wrong way. And gently wobble yourself back to center. And feel your spine get still without holding it still. We'll reach the arms up on an inhale and exhale the hands down to the ground in front of you. Make your way into your first downward dog pose of your practice. So the theme of today's practice is your work and your medicine. So your work, according to the Dhammapada, which is the teachings are the teachings of the Buddha, some of them. Your work is to discover your work and then with all of your heart to give yourself to it. So what is your work in the world? And I don't necessarily mean the work that you go to for your job or your career. But what are you really here to do? And start to infuse your awareness with that and allow that awareness to help inspire the strength in the yoga pose. Good. And inhale, shift forward to a plank position and exhale, lower down to chaturanga. Inhale to upward dog and exhale to downward dog. Deep breath through your nose. And lift your right leg up on an inhale and step the right foot all the way through to the front of your mat on an exhale. Good. Be in a runner's lunge here. Slide the shoulders away from the ears. Spread the toes. Good, and step the left foot up to meet the right at the top of your mat. Lengthen your spine on an inhale and fold forward on the exhale. Rise up to stand up, inhale. And exhale, the palms connect in front of your heart. 
Inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold in. Inhale, lengthen out. Exhale, step back to plank and lower down to chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, back, downward dog. Deep breath. Okay, so your work, right, and your medicine, your medicine is how you take care of yourself. How do you take care of yourself so that you can do your work? So within the strength of the work, find a softness and a, a tender loving care. Lift the left leg on an inhale and step all the way through on the exhale. Be in a runner's lunge here. Sink the hips a little bit. Shoulders down the back. Belly in. Soften your jaw. Good, and step the right foot up to meet the left at the top of your space. Lengthen the spine, inhale, and fold in on the exhale. Align your feet. Rise up to stand up, inhale. And exhale, pull it to your heart. Good, inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold in. Inhale, lengthen out. Exhale to Chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. So your work in the world and the medicine that you use to take care of yourself in the world are as intricately linked as your inhale and your exhale. They work together. Inhale, rise up on the toes. Exhale, look forward, walk or hop the feet up. Lengthen on your inhale. Fold in on the exhale. Inhale to stand up, sweep the arms to the sky and exhale, palms connect at the heart. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold in. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale to Chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. And as you breathe here, establish the connection of your fingers in the ground, your feet in the ground. And slope the hips up. One more time, bring your feet to the front of your mat. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Rise up to stand up, inhale. And palms meet at the heart on the exhale. Good, one more time, you guys. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold in. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, down dog. Good. Lift the right leg. Inhale. Step all the way through on the exhale. Lower the left knee. Take the arms up for a low lunge for a few breaths. Take the wrists back to get space in the upper chest. Just one more inhale. Exhale the hands down to the mat. Tuck the left toes, lift the left knee up. Step up onto the right leg, fold forward. Relax your neck. Grab blocks if they help you for sure. And keep the left leg active, flex the left foot. And take the shoulders away from the ears. So you have space around your neck. One more breath. And step back to crescent. Bend the right knee. Sweep the arms up. Inhale. 
Then exhale the hands down to the ground. Step back to down dog, lift that right leg up again, inhale. Exhale, right knee over to the left elbow. Inhale, lift the right leg up. Exhale, right knee to the right elbow. And lift the right leg, inhale. Exhale, right knee to the chest, shift forward to plank. And then shoot the right leg back to plank pose, inhale. And lower down, exhale. Inhale, up dog. Exhale back, down dog. Take a cycle of breath here. Lift the left leg, inhale. Exhale, step through. Lower the right knee and take the arms up, low lunge. So we're link, we link the breath with the movement. And when we pause in the pose, we keep the breath flowing. One more breath in. Exhale the hands down. Tuck the back toes. Lift the right knee. Step up into standing split. Lift the arms up into the shoulder socket. So the fingers stay on the floor, but you're just from the top of the arm. You draw the arms into the shoulder sockets to stabilize. And spread the toes. Belly in one more breath. Step back to crescent. Just for a breath. Bend the left knee, float the arms up on an inhale. And exhale, release to plank. And press to down dog, lift the left leg. Good, left knee over to the right elbow for a breath. And then inhale, left leg lifts up. Exhale, left knee to the left elbow for a breath. Inhale, left leg lift. Exhale, left knee to the chest. Plank, inhale. Chaturanga, exhale. Upward dog, inhale. Down dog, exhale. <clears throat> and you're just hanging out breathing, right? We're just hanging out breathing as we move through the work, which in the case of yoga is also the medicine. So let the practice nourish you. Inhale the heels up. Exhale, walk or hop the feet to your hands. Lengthen on your inhale, fold on the exhale. Bend the knees, chair pose, inhale. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale to chaturanga. Inhale up. Exhale back to down dog. Step the right foot up to your hands. Back heel to the ground. Come up warrior one for a breath. And release the hands down. Step to plank and lower. Inhale upward facing. Exhale, down dog, left foot steps through, back heel flat. Come up, warrior one, inhale. Exhale, release, and lower down. Inhale, up dog. Back to down dog on the exhale. Smooth, steady breath. And again, bring your feet to your hands. Lengthen on your inhale. Fold on the exhale. Bend the knees, chair pose, inhale. Exhale, fold forward, then straighten the legs. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale up. Exhale, down dog. Right foot steps through, back heel flat. Warrior one, inhale. Exhale, release, and lower down. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, down dog, left foot steps through. 
come up, warrior one, for a breath. And release to plank and lower it down. Inhale, heart lifts. Exhale back, down dog. And each breath becomes the next breath. You just watch the ebb and flow. And one more time, bring your feet to your hands. Lengthen on the inhale. Fold on the exhale. Bend the knees, chair pose, inhale. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale up. Exhale back, right foot steps through, warrior one, come up, inhale. Exhale, release to plank and lower it down. Inhale up. Exhale back, left foot steps through, come up, warrior one pose. Inhale, exhale, release and lower down. Inhale up, exhale back. And we're still warming up here. Stay present, be patient as your body opens. And when you're ready, bring your feet to your hands. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold in. Come all the way up to stand up, inhale. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale up, exhale back, lift the right leg, inhale. And exhale, step through to warrior one and take three breaths here. Ish, <laughs> three-ish breaths. Sink down into the right hip, rotate the left side of your torso forward. Good, and then open up to warrior two for a few breaths. Soften the shoulders. Good, now keep the right knee bent, reverse warrior for a few breaths. These are shorter holds intentionally. Good, and then come up and over to side angle. Right fingertips to the inner right foot. Maybe you grab a block. Sink down into the right hip. Good, and then we'll come back to warrior two. Three more breaths here. Lift the corners of your mouth for some advanced yoga. Good, and release to plank. Bring the feet together. Roll to the outer left foot. Reach the right arm up. Three breaths. Feel the hips lift up. Release, and vinyasa. Lift the left leg, inhale. Exhale, step through, come up to warrior one. Three breaths, right? Jaw soft, maybe a sweet kindness in the eyes. Shavasana in the brow, right? Open up to warrior two, maybe a little smile on the face, maybe as if it were a joy to do this work and to receive this medicine. Keep the back leg active, reverse warrior, sink down into the left hip. Good, and then up and over to side angle. Good, 
ahead and come back up to warrior two. Learn to enjoy the burn. Little burn as you getting stronger. Good, and release to plank. Bring the feet together, roll to the outer right foot, reach the left arm up. Three breaths. Good, and release the left hand back to plank and chaturanga. Okay, so that was sort of a blueprint for the, we're gonna do a second flow right now, flow sequence. So when you're ready, bring your feet to the front of your mat. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Rise up to stand up, inhale, fold forward on the exhale. Lengthen on the inhale, exhale, chaturanga. So now we're going to move through that same sequence mindfully, one breath per movement. Lift the right leg, inhale. Step through on the exhale. Warrior one, inhale. Warrior two, exhale. Reverse warrior, inhale, use your core muscles. Exhale to side angle. You could also take elbow to thigh in this pose. Warrior two, inhale. Exhale the hands down, step to plank. Roll to the outer left foot if this is appropriate for your body, otherwise skip it. And release to chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale back. Left leg lifts, inhale, exhale, lunge. Warrior one, inhale, warrior two, exhale. Reverse warrior, inhale. Side angle on the exhale. Warrior two, inhale. Exhale the hands down, step to plank. Roll to the outer right foot, reach the left arm up for a breath. Lower the left hand down, chaturanga. Okay, just one more round of those to get the heart really moving. Lift the right leg, inhale. Exhale, step through, come up, warrior one. Open to warrior two. Smooth it out, reverse warrior, inhale. Side angle for a breath on the exhale. Warrior two, come up. Exhale, release to plank. Roll to the outer left foot. Float the right arm up, inhale. Exhale to chaturanga. Inhale up. Exhale back, lift the left leg, inhale. Exhale, lunge. Warrior one. Exhale to warrior two. Good, you guys. Reverse warrior, inhale. Exhale to side angle pose. And warrior two, inhale. Exhale, release to plank. Roll to the outer right foot. Reach the left arm up for a breath. And release, chaturanga. Inhale up. Exhale, down dog. Feel your heartbeat in your chest. Feel your breath move through you. Good, bring your feet to the front of your mat. Lengthen on your inhale and fold on the exhale. Inhale to stand up. And exhale the palms together at your heart. Close your eyes. And remember what your work is. Why are you doing this? Okay, and then gently blink the eyes open. Wrap the left arm under the right arm for eagle wrap. Okay, bend the knees. Take the left leg up and over the right leg for eagle. Sink down into the pose a little bit. Lift the front of the pelvis up as you sink the hips down. Good. 
Good, you guys, one more breath. We'll move to half moon, release the arms and the legs. Bring the right fingertips down, the left arm up. If you want a little more today, you could bend the left knee and catch the left foot with the left hand from behind you. And if you do that, kick the left foot straight back as opposed to lifting the knee. Get the left knee level to your left hip. Good. And then release the left leg straight back. And step back to warrior two. Soften your shoulders, like Shavasana in the shoulders, Shavasana in the gaze. Good, and then straighten the right leg, reach forward to triangle. Your right hip, draw the right hip into center as opposed to collapsing the right hip behind you. Hug it in. Lengthen through the right side of your torso. Good. And now from here, you'll bend your right knee. So you're in extended angle with the right hand on the outside of the right leg. Maybe you grab a block here so you can get that beautiful rotation in the upper back. Good. Come up to warrior two pose on an inhale. Exhale, release the hands, step back and lower down. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Good. Now step the left foot up to your hands. Come up to a crescent pose. And bring the palms together in front of your heart. We're going to step up to half chair. Left ankle cross over the right thigh. Bend the right knee. Make sure that right hip's hugged in. You're not collapsing out to the right side. Left foot flex. And sink down into it. Good. Now come up. Release the left foot next to the right. Release your arms by your sides. Turn the palms forward. Shoulders down the back. Receive the moment. Okay. Right arm under the left arm. And we'll set up for eagle on the other side. Right leg up and over the left. Deep breath. Like as you're in the work, this is also medicine, and it does not always work that way. So sometimes we just work, and we try and receive as much medicine as we can. Great. Sometimes we, re we focus more on the healing and the, and the medicine itself. But in your practice today, feel the synergy of both, the harmony of both. Good, and then half moon, release the arms and legs. Right leg extended back, left fingertips can grab a block or the floor under your left shoulder. Right arm to the sky, and maybe you bend the right knee, catch the right foot with your right hand and get some extension in the upper back and some quad stretch in the lower part of your body. or at least in the right <laughs> lower part of your body. Good, spread the toes, release the right leg, right arm straight up to the sky. Step back to warrior two. Soften the shoulders.
Good. Straighten the left leg. Lengthen forward. Come into triangle pose. Shoulders down the back. The left hip hugs into center. This is going to be important. It's important in half moon, and it's also important in side angle. All three of these externally rotated standing poses, <clears throat> we have a tendency to collapse into the hip that we're standing on, on the bottom hip. Hug it in. And now bend the left knee, right arm over the right ear. Good, come up to warrior two on an inhale. And vinyasa, use your breath to guide you. Or at the very least, use your breath to guide you through the rhythm of the practice. You wanna use your heart really to guide you in the esoteric sense. Okay, step the left foot through come up to crescent. So at its best, palms together at your heart. Step the right ankle up and over the left thigh. Bend the left knee, flex the right foot. And at its best, this practice will teach us to align the heart with the head, the mind, right? The higher mind. And the breath helps harmonize the two. so that we can bring our work, so we know what our work is. Take the shoulder heads back. Good, and come up. Release the right foot next to the left, Tadasana. The feet together or hips apart but parallel. Palms face the front of your mat. Reach the arms up, inhale. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale to chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. So let's finish with some twists here in the standing sequence. Step the right foot through, come up to crescent, and take a prayer twist to the right. Rotate the spine open. Good. And then you'll bring the hands down to the ground in front of you. Step up onto the right leg. Flex the left foot, the lifted leg, on the lifted leg. And then left fingertips down to a block or the floor, right arm to the sky for twisting half moon. So keep that left foot engaged, left thigh engaged, and hug the right hip into center. And one more breath, open the chest. Okay, step the left leg straight back behind you. Come up to crescent for a breath, inhale. Exhale, release to plank and lower down. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Take a cycle of breath. Left foot steps through. Come up to crescent and take a prayer twist to the left. Feel the shoulder heads draw back so you get space across the collarbones. Good, and then release the fingertips down to the ground on either side of the left foot. Step up onto the left leg, flex the right foot, lengthen your spine, right fingertips under the right shoulder, reach the left arm up.
feel the outer right thigh, the outer right thigh spiral down. So the lifted leg is in a neutral rotation. Both legs, actually. One more breath. Step back to crescent. Big breath in. Exhale, release. Lower all the way down. Release the toes. Press into a cobra pose. And back down to your belly. Make a pillow with your hands and rest for a moment. And we'll move in for a, a bow, Dhanurasana. Right? So before we come in, just remember your work is to discover your work and then with all of your heart to give yourself to it. Bend your knees. Catch your feet with your hands. Bring the knees together to start. Lift up into bow. Right now, this is your work. Give yourself to it. Surrender to the pose. Let the pose do the work. But of course, you show up. That's your work here. One more breath. And release down. Make a pillow with your hands and rock your hips back and forth from side to side on your mat to release the sacrum and the pelvis. Just to loosen it up a little bit. Good. Press yourself up and come to sit on your mat with your legs wide apart. And we'll come in for Upa Vishta Konasana, wide leg forward fold. <clears throat> See if you can walk forward and if you can't sit upright, that's fine. And if you can, go for it, rest your head if that is available to you. And if your head's getting close to the ground, you can always take your head to a block here. That's a great way to create a little extra support so that you can release more in the upper back. And give your quads a little flex and your feet a little flex. Receive the benefits of the pose. Like, what can you relax so you can receive the benefits more? Good, and then roll yourself up. And come to sit with your legs together, both legs in front of you for Paschimottanasana. Take a moment to walk you the fleshy part of your butt out of the way, so you're on the sitting bones. Reach the arms up, flex the feet, and bend forward. And grab what you can grab, including a towel if you can't reach your feet. You can take a towel around the bottom of your feet or strap. Good, roll yourself up and come onto your back, bend your knees, feet on the floor, and cross your right ankle over your left thigh. Come to thread the eye of the needle. And feel the heart rate slow down. Feel your breath begin to slow down and also become 
a bit deeper. Hand switch sides. Every time we breathe in, we take in spirit, we inspire. And when we breathe out, we let go, we expire in small ways. Every moment is a moment of new life and also a moment of death. Letting go of what we no longer need. Allow these cycles to inspire and also refresh your understanding of your work and the depth of the medicine. All right, go ahead and release and straighten your arms and your legs to the floor. And rest in Shavasana. And so if you want to rest for longer, hit pause. Otherwise, bend your knees and roll to your side. And press yourself up to a comfortable seated position. Close your eyes. Now rest your hands, palms up on your knees. Your work is to discover your work and then with all of your heart to give yourself to it. The Sanskrit name for this is your dharma. It's your dharma. What is your work in the world? And your medicine is what heals you, what soothes you. 
what helps you feel your best, which could be anything from a nap or a massage to, you know, making art or music or whatever you do. Go to the psychotherapy or acupuncture, the things that heal you. Just even having a cup of soup. I don't know. Everybody has their thing. Things. Have a whole medicine cabinet filled with things that heal you. So you can continue to bring your work. Bring your palms together in front of your heart. Lift your heart, bow your head. Namaste. Thank you so much, you guys, for practicing with me today. This is Michelle Goldstein. You're at Heart Alchemy Yoga on YouTube. Please subscribe to the channel. Please like, share, and comment on the videos. We love hearing from you guys. We're also on Instagram and on Facebook, so you can find us there. And we also are happy to receive any messages or special requests that you guys have. We'll try and fill in everything that we can that's reasonable. So thank you so much, you guys. Namaste.